Netflix If there's one thing soon to be parents can thank Netflix for, it's the rise of the visibly pregnant comedian. First, it was Ali Wong's baby Cobra and Hard Knock Wife both of which were recorded with a full baby bump in view. Proving it's not just a one comedian thing, in March Netflix debuted Amy Schumer's growing stand-up special. Schumer was five months along when she made it, and there's just something cathartic about making fun of the not-so-fun things about being pregnant from someone who clearly has first-hand experience. And, in typical Schumer fashion, she really got down into the nitty-gritty of her tough pregnancy, including getting real about some pretty personal topics. On having hyperemesis gravidarum, which made her feel like she had food poisoning every day for five months, Schumer suffers from hyperemesis gravidarum, which is basically a supersized, super horrible morning sickness, TBH, even that's an understatement, that comes with vomiting, nausea, dehydration, and food aversions. Kate Middleton had it too, doesn't really sound so funny, does it? And yet she's able to joke about it and throw shade at all the ladies out there who make growing a human look easy. I throw up an exorcist amount every day, she notes. I feel like, you know, if you had a good pregnancy, if you're someone who enjoyed being pregnant, I just hope your car flips over. That's what I wish for you, rough Amy, but maybe we're all thinking this same thing, on not having a period anymore, and saying goodbye to tampons. Despite dealing with non-stop nausea, Schumer does see a bright side in pregnancy, not having to deal with tampons. Then again, she might not buy tampons ever again, the way you hear her talk about period-absorbing underwear. There's a new invention called Thinks, she says. They're just these underwear that you just bleed into. Which, I guess, makes me AF King Inventor. If you're a fan of a diva cup or even pads, there are good jokes for you in there, too. It's the most anyone has talked about dealing with menstruation outside of middle school health classrooms. FYI, you can buy a pair of things for yourself right here. On her husband, who's honest almost to a fault. Schumer's husband, Chris Fisher, is a farmer, chef, and co-author of the Beetlebung Farm Cookbook, A Year of Cooking on Martha's Vineyard. In Growing, she explains that he falls on the autism spectrum, which gives him many of the qualities that she loves most about him, including his inability to lie. However, there are just some times when it's just a heck of a lot easier if you can tell a white lie to save some feelings. He doesn't care about social norms or what you expect him to say or do, she says. If I say to him, does this look like ST, he'll go, yeah, you have a lot of other clothes, why don't you wear those? Note to partners of pregnant people, the correct response to this question is, you always look beautiful, but, on cradling big belly. and being pregnant at the same time as Meghan Markle. Schumer starts her stand-up by chiding everyone for not noticing her pregnancy sooner. Usually when someone in the public eye gets pregnant, there's like a couple months where there's some rumors about them, she says. There's some like, boop, bump alert. Oh, I was well into my second trimester. Meanwhile, she divulges that her due date twin is Meghan Markle, which means they are both due sometime in mid or late April. She has no bump, she says. She cups where the bump will be. People see me in, and they're like, the last couple weeks are the hardest, right? Speaking of cupping your bump in photos, a move Markle always does, Schumer says, I'm going to do it for the rest of my life. I'm going to be 90 years old with a cigarette in my mouth and cup the bump, on being honest about pregnancy, and how no one does it. One big takeaway from Schumer's honesty about her own pregnancy complications is that other women should feel empowered to speak up about their I didn't know that being pregnant could be really hard, she admits. I didn't know that, because you beaches all lie about it. Women don't tell you how hard it is. I should have googled it. Women are supposed to be excited about a growing family and grateful for a healthy baby. And while that's true, if you're pregnant and having a rough go of it, it's okay to make a joke about it.